This looks like an Apple widget, but it's not on my phone. It's right here on my desk. A real 3D printed clock. And the coolest part? I built it from scratch and I'll show you how. Have you ever wondered why Apple doesn't sell a wall or desk clock? I did. And since I love the widget design so much, I decided to turn it into a real one. And trust me, even though this project sounds simple at first, I ran into some real challenges. But that's exactly why the result turned out even more impressive. For past projects, I've had really good experiences with these super cheap clock mechanisms, perfect for DIY builds. So I'll be using one of those again here. Since I wanted the Apple widget look on my desk, I also searched for filament that matches the original colors as closely as possible. All the materials I used are linked in the description below. Now let's talk about the design. And this part was a little tricky. I wanted the clock to end up with a smooth matte front. No multicolor printer required and the build should be as easy as possible. The solution was a mix of hardware and design choices. A smooth build plate for that flawless surface, matte filament for the finish and every part printed separately so it all snaps together in the end. So straight into the printer and let's go. Or at least that's what I thought. By the way, what project should I build next? Drop it in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. The first problems came up pretty quickly. The shaft on the clock mechanism was way too long, sticking out far past the faceplate. And once I tightened it down with the nut, the whole vibe was gone. So I built a custom holder. It snaps onto the back and the nut disappears neatly into a recess between the holder and the faceplate. Much cleaner. Next challenge. Perfectly aligning the round dial inside the black frame. Without guides it kept shifting, so I added alignment points. And while I was at it, I also redesigned the little hour markers. Originally they were a nightmare to glue in. Now with alignment built in, everything clicks into place. So back into the printer it all went. Second round and things already looked much better. Everything fit together easily, except for the one part I kept avoiding, the hands. Because the clock is fairly small, the hands had to be tiny too, which meant a lot of precision. Just look how thin the original hand and its mount are. After two or three iterations, I finally got them to work. The only issue, the second hand. With a 0.4 nozzle, it was simply too fragile to print. So in the end, I used the original mount from the kit and glued my custom hand onto it. And honestly, it worked perfectly. At this point, you could already get a glimpse of how the final clock would look and I was getting really excited. And that's why you're getting a bit of assembly ASMR to enjoy now. Do you also feel like making projects like this clock? Follow me so you don't miss the next one. On Kofi, you'll find my projects ready to rebuild with a full step-by-step -step guide, parts list and print files. So how do I feel about the clock and how much did it actually cost? Honestly, I love it. This little desk clock was such a fun project and in the end I used about $1.50 worth of filament plus a $5 clock movement. That means under $8 for a real design statement on my desk but then I ask myself, how do I read it in the dark? The solution, I need a desk lamp and that's exactly what I built right here. 